Hello and welcome back to Soft 5, yet another match of Soft 5 group stage. We've seen incredible things, we've seen a tie, we've seen an incredible tie, another tie on Soft by the way. Um, we've also seen a tie, uh, might I mention? Uh, anyways, this is a new match, this is gonna be Cryolian versus Kiraz. And uh, I am Paturaj, and I am here with uh, Halogen. How's it going? Hello, 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 hello. How are things going? I'm honestly just chilling. I, I heard the news about the tie, and I was like, that was completely insane. Yeah, you know, there are some there are some things that you you simply don't account for, and of course, everybody was very quick to mention that the webhook was busted. So I was like, crap, I need to patch that now. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was an issue. I, yeah, I, I, I fixed it. I fixed it. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, as a developer, you 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 always forget to account for edge cases. You know, I, I'm I'm like, I can't believe I missed that one. I've seen it before, but it's just like, no, we're gonna forget about. It. No, nope, there it is. <laughs> it, it yeah, it's it's always the edge cases you don't implement or account for that that are always gonna happen for some reason. Oh man, I'm getting onto yeah. the first warm up here. Oh, LN fun? Is this Cryolians? Mm, it might be because uh, Cryolian is a notoriously good LN specialist, I think. And all things considered, though, Kira's doing quite a good job on these LNs as well. Yeah, even getting, getting the upper hand on those uh, warm ups. But, well, warm ups don't matter in the match, anyways. It's just some good fun and some, maybe some information seeking. Right, when we get to the more complicated releases here, it seems like Cryolian has a, a little bit of an upper hand on ratio, but at the moment seems to be having some issues uh, avoiding 200s. Very close, both of these players on this LN map. I think this LN map, uh, I, I won't say I think, I'm pretty sure this LN map definitely goes a little bit beyond what we're going to be seeing in the pools here, but nonetheless, both of these players are quite close. Yeah, in terms of density, this is definitely superior to what we're going to see, for, for example, in Butterfly Twist or um, some other picks. Fortunate drop from Kira's, but uh, this is just a warm up, so no worries. Yeah, get those get those jitters out in the warm ups when it doesn't matter. You know, the the who's line of the match. Cryolian yeah, actually breaking two K combo on this warm up. Wow. Yeah, mind you, it's also. Cryolian's own map, apparently. Maybe I should check them out. They're, they're looking pretty interesting for Ellen Trade. I, I did not even notice that. Wow. Yeah, me neither until now. I was just looking around, like, on the... Uh, I was just, like, looking at the star rating duty, and then I was looking at the map, and oh, surprise! Oh, man. These Ellen releases are quite tight, some of them. Oh yeah, they're quite close to, to the next note. So inverse sections just for the hell of it. Mm, columns open up a little bit outside of that inverse, and Kira's having a little bit of trouble having some stable footing there, while Cryolian is just getting closer and closer to that 3500 combo mark. Yeah, maybe a little bit of background. I I got to know Kira's from. Uh, Kira's from 4D NWC, I think they were the captain of the Italian team. The Italian team didn't make it out of groups, but uh, uh, I think they were a very friendly team. I, I think they were in the same groups as France. And we had we had a bit of fun, and Kira's definitely showed some great great scores in the rest of the tournament, despite not being in it, just uh, having some scores out for fun. Definitely a promising player, in my opinion. Yeah, I think it would have to be to make it to groups here in Soft 5, for sure. 
and each player going with their own charts for warm-ups. That's cool to see sometimes. Yeah, put a little bit of, um, of your own effort to, uh, to kind of impress your opponent or kind of have uh, some scaring, scare tactics. Instill fear. Yeah, especially if this uh, bled a smash up of, of some sort. Apparently an Italian meme, and uh, I, I know those Italian players really, really like their countries, really like representing their countries, and this is something to be respected. Absolutely. We're almost ready to get this particular warm-up started here. We saw a pretty LN-focused warm-up from Cryoli, and I wonder if we're going to see basically the opposite of that coming from Kira's. I'm curious to see what kind of map this is. Dumpish or standard, it seems. Yeah, I was going to note uh, that the OD is 8.5, so it's much more likely we're going to see something rice focused with an OD that high. Oh my. Um, that's a 34 point gap here. <laughs> That's quite interesting indeed. Oh, there's a drop. Well, I hope that Kiraz is not going to drop in the actual match, but uh, this is looking to be closer to group's uh, difficulty. Yeah, I would say so as well. And these players seem to have very similar rice accuracies, at least for the parts where Kiraz isn't dropping in. That's going to be interesting for the match itself. Yeah, I think Cryolian actually had a really good score on uh, Tribal comparatively to, to other stages. Ah, okay, so this match could end up being a dynamic that we've seen numerous times here, where essentially, if this pans out the way that I'm thinking, Kiraz might be kind of in defense on this match, as Cryolian will probably be attacking with long notes, and given Cryolian's general control, might be winning with a little bit more ease than Kiraz would be winning on Rice, because both players are a little bit closer. This could be a, a pretty intense match. Yeah, honestly, from from the numbers themselves, I think Cryolian definitely has the upper hand on strategy here, but uh, we're going to see how much information about uh, their group performance they're they're gonna get because uh, group performance is slightly different from qualifiers and even uh, previous playoffs. What? Again. It happened again! It happened again! Another one point difference in the rolls. What the hell is going on? Well, is this a sign of the match being that close? Like oh one God, point man. difference. Another. That we're gonna have to add a statistic to our sheets of rolls decided by one point because I, I think this is like the fourth or fifth match. That is insane. Jesus. <laughs> Exclusive soft five statistics, close rules, amount of tiebreakers, amount of ties. Yeah, this is insane. <laughs> the stats you never expected to see. Oh man. But yeah, with that, Kiraz is going to be choosing the first protect of the match here. I expect Kiraz to go down the rice route, as we saw between the warm-up here, that Kiraz has a little bit better of a ratio when it comes to rice that has a bit more motion, and he protects Alberica, which I think is a pretty good protect in this case. Yeah, it goes along with the, with the warm-up as well. Oh, that, however, is a bit of an interesting protect statistically. I think... I think I've mentioned this before, but uh, people who tend to be all-rounded, very well-rounded, 
uh, tend to protect Mikasa because Mikasa has a little bit of everything to, to provide. The interesting thing about Mikasa too is it, it's it's got a structure that makes it look so friendly to Rice players, but you have to have really good precision in your release timing to not get two hundreds all over the place, and that's where your score gets docked really heavily. Whereas somebody like Cryolian, who's got a good LN foundation, could probably get through unscathed. Maybe a slightly worse ratio in the case of going against a Rice player like Kiraz, but then the lack of two hundreds would probably be a, a big benefit. Yeah, Cryolin actually banning Yozakura, which is a um, very sensible decision as uh, Kiraz is probably specializing in rice and or perhaps speed. And uh, Kiraz is gonna go with the another medium ban, an Ellen ban, which is fairly reasonable against Cryolian. Yeah, I'm not sure if the if the referee stats have been updated here, but that Mikasa protect um, is a very rare one. The second least protected map, or potentially tied for second if it hasn't been added yet. Tied for second least protected map. So again, it's just one of those things where if you are super, super confident in your well-rounded ability, then of course that'll be a good protect, but most people tend to stray away from that. Yeah, most people tend to have biases towards... Uh... Either LNs or Rice. And um, for example, we've seen people protect Synchro Patriarch, which is being picked right now. And Synchro Patriarch is a very good display of tech slash jump stream and stream burst ability. Yeah, in summation, in order to do well on Seagull Patriarch, you have to have very good Rice control, because there's a little bit of everything in this, honestly between the the map structure having little bits of stream, jump stream bursts, but there's also even some like complicated rhythms that force you to be really focused. And somebody who's really strong at rice is gonna obviously be opting into something like that. That early miss is not gonna help, however, from Kiraz. Yeah, the only consolation about that miss is the fact that it happened before the first 400 notes, meaning it's not gonna be quite as impactful as a miss that happens from Cryoli, and if it were to happen as they have hit combo cap, so right now, Kiraz is down, but certainly not out yet. Yeah, however, Cryolin is doing really well there. 99.80... Well, never mind. Kind of dropped wow. a little bit there, but uh, a few 200s there. Uh... Kiraz actually finding another miss on, on a burst, and Kiraz is looking in, to be in really bad shape at the moment. With regards to this particular pick here, Cryolian still holding that full combo and up by almost three tenths of a percent and nearly 20,000 points. It's going to take more than a single miss for Cryolian to lose this lead now. Yeah, it really looks like a daunting task for uh, Kiraz. It would take something from Cryolian to, uh, to help Kiraz up. As we get through this uh, bridge section of short sorts here, we have some slightly difficult release timings. And this is going to be of Cryolian's benefit, I imagine, compared to Kiraz. Kiraz is actually finding 300s on the LNs pretty consistently, while uh, Cryolian seems to be holding through them in general. Both players actually made it through the, the LN section. Yeah, we're getting ready to close out the song here. We get another sequence of faster bursts just after this little jump stream. And right now, Cryoli ends up by almost two tenths of a percent. That's a pretty substantial lead. And Cryoli would have to do something absolutely disastrous to lose this. Here as yeah. finding another drop. Yeah, that's the third one. And uh, the th that third one is definitely going to seal it. And that's going to be the first break point. Yeah, off to a little bit of a rough start there by Kiraz. Kiraz, even without the misses, would be losing this pick regardless here, as Cryolian's ratio proving to be superior, getting 60 less 300s, and a little bit of change on that, and then half of the 200 count.
However, the, the ratio is definitely, uh, definitely challengeable. Uh, the, th the 300 ratio is definitely uh, looking to be promising for uh, QS to catch up on. So Oberica might not have been the bad protect. So we might see that going forward. Yeah, if uh, it, we're, we're going to be... I'm... I'm not sure. Is this Cryolian picking Mikasa here? Yeah, oh, I okay. think so. Yeah, and Kira is uh, probably having some uh, some input issues, perhaps uh, some keyboard um, mishaps. So yeah, uh, Cryolian immediately going for the Protect. Some, some people like to keep their Protect for later, and some people just like to go straight in, uh, straight with it. You know, and that's the nice thing about Protect too. There's something that you feel like you're guaranteed to win, or something you feel like you can do super, super well. So they can really be leveraged into your strategy however you want them to be, and I think that's great. You tend to see two different things with these protects. You tend to see people getting them out early to make sure that they get themselves on the board. And then the other common usage I'm seeing, and I'm, I'm personally a proprietor of this use myself, is once I'm in the match point situation, it's essentially the kill pick, you know? Go for the go for the throw, kind of end the match deal. Fatality. Exactly. The final blow. Yeah, that's quite an interesting strategy, and uh, it's what's kind of fascinating to me about this protect. It's that they're strategically, strategically um, valuable. Yeah, they differ in the match dynamic compared to bands because when you think about how bands work, bands are only interacted in a way where they get removed. So it's like they're interacted in a way that says you're not going to interact with them. Whereas protects, they stay on your hip. You get to hold on to them as long as you need to. This is a very direct interaction and you can leverage it however you want. And that's really fascinating because you get another dynamic, another layer of strategy from these players and thinking about how they're going to tactically not only use their protects, but pick them on other people. Some people pick into other players' protects and throw them off that way too. Yeah, it's kind of a... Uh mind games, uh, psychological warfare as uh, Cryolian is up to a really strange start, but Kira's soon after dropping some huge accuracy in the beginning, however, but uh, we still have to see him catch up. And again, that miss, if you were going to have a miss, the timing of that was solid. Only 97, no different. Makira's map misses again! Yeah, I, I, I have a feeling that these are pretty much keyboard mishaps. Yeah, I think they were on the same column uh, in both instances. I think the fourth column is being a, a bit problematic for Kirez at the moment. Yeah, that's that's kind of a shame going into the match Another with uh, faulty hardware, yeah. That, that miss was also, I think, on the fourth column. I think Kirez is, oh my gosh, this is so bad. Yeah, I think, I think at this point, at this point, uh, the, the, the best thing you can do is change bindings. Yeah, I, I think that's the only thing that can be done here. Cryoli and holding solid with that full combo over 1100 at this point and a 9974, not too bad as they're running through here. Not too many 200s in the way of this score. I think Kiraz would be losing even with their without misses as there have been a number of 200s on some of the LN transitions and cryoli has been holding pretty strong. Yeah, definitely a warranted protect for Cryoli here. Gosh, a number of 200s. And I'm looking at the hit error and seeing when the keys are being hit just in general visually. And I think Kiraz is not only getting dropped inputs, but also just shatters as well. There were some inputs that were almost off the bar with how far early they were. That is such a rough situation. And the 991 by Cryolian on Mikasa. Solid run there. Three 200s. Very, very respectable score. And the ratio wasn't too far apart between the two players, but five 50s. None of them were misses. None of them were misses. Yeah, I actually think that uh, 
Yeah, maybe the fourth column is double tapping. Yeah. So uh, the elements are definitely getting dropped. That's that's uh, this looks very familiar to what I was dealing with myself on on my current board. Um, I I was getting lots of scores with fifties or just like when when I used the Mania real time rendering tool to see what was going on, essentially LNs were getting interrupted. That is such a difficult thing there. I thought they were all misses and not one of them were. The only consolation in this particular instance is if you think about the fact, if you were to think about Kira's score against Cryolians on this particular pick, even if all of those 50s were gone, it would not have mattered. Cryolians still would have won that pick. Yeah, the, the, um, the ratio difference is very subtle, but it's still at the advantage of uh, Cryolian consistently. So yeah, I expect Kira's to, to have to really fight their way up to, to even try and uh, get a point from Cryolian here. And Oberica, their protect is definitely a good choice to do that. Kira is uh, teasing some hidden in the chat. And Priolian, it, 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 it seems like Priolian might be going hidden for this one. And that he is. Channeling his uh, inner Zaken here. Yeah, I've seen Cryolian play hidden before in the past, like quite a bit ago, and oh my goodness, what in the world just happened? That's not the best start, let's say that. Getting into the next section of the song here, Cryolian holding pretty solid, almost a 99.8. On hidden, there Kira is having to make a huge climb after that absolutely disastrous start. And I'm not sure what happened in the beginning there, but nonetheless, Cryolian is going to take an almost 30,000 point lead into the next section right before the streams start up again. Yeah, it definitely seems that hidden is working really well for Cryolian here in some mysterious way. And Cryolian finding a few 200s in some of this density here. One of the challenges of Hidden 2, it's something that I've always found to be quite difficult about Hidden, is the fact that you have to keep your head on a swivel as you're playing, because if you get a drop, you've got to ride your focal point back down, since breaking combo resets the uh, the shroud of black that covers your playfield, and that's such a challenge. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering if Hidden players would be better off um embedding their hidden panel on their skin itself but then it wouldn't be as pretty in tournament like we wouldn't be seeing the hidden That's gonna do it. Cryolian taking a break point on Kiraz's protector, and wow, Kiraz dominated on ratio. Oh yeah, you you definitely see the difference. Uh, that uh, diff definitely see the difference in the ratio here. Maybe the hidden mod has had something to do with it, but uh, I'm not absolutely sure. Yeah, when you're dealing with something like a player opting to use hidden for something that involves density, you probably might be sacrificing a little bit of ratio, but at the same token, you're also preventing information overload because you're kind of just keeping your focal point limited to what's on the screen uh, opposed to what's covered by hidden. There's no distractions around you, which is kind of good. But man, that's a huge unfortunate issue for Kiraz there. Kiraz probably having 
a little bit of a shot there as the beginning was basically the only mistake that happened. It was a drastic one, but the rest of the map was played fine. It would have been pretty close, I think. Yeah, most definitely. I, I, I really don't know what happened in the beginning. and uh, yeah, They just seem to have to drop at the, the entire start for some reason. Yeah, I have no idea what happened there. It looked like it was... Uh... It looked like it had started, there were some inputs there. It wasn't all misses at the beginning, but it was a mix of misses and a few other bad judgments. I have no idea what could have happened there. Nonetheless, Cryolian is going to be leading this match 3-0, sitting on match point and having the opportunity to make a pick here. I imagine one of the LN picks is going to be coming out at this point. Let's go, we're going to see Butterfly Twist. Uh... Arguably the best song of the entire capital. This song slaps so hard. I'm about to make an ITG chart for this. I'm kind of tempted to make an SP chart for this. I'm down. You need a guinea pig to test, I'm down. Let's do it. <laughs> Someday. It's just not going to be soon because I... I'm kind of busy at the moment, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. It's definitely in my plan, plans list. I'll make a, make a ITG tech chart, post it in soft and highlight Lemon Guy. Be like, yo, thanks for showing me this song. <laughs> I, I, know it's, I know obviously it wasn't your doing, given that this was, you know, Shima Rin's uh, map and whatnot, but the, um, the edit of this and it being used in the tournament, you know, brought it to my attention in the first place. It's such a good song. Oh yeah, it's that, it definitely is. But twist, no! Oh no! <laughs> Why did I remember? Why was I reminded of that? Why weren't you reminded of that? That's the better question. You weren't reminded up until now. God, but twist. I, I cannot believe. I cannot believe I I, I read that somewhere. <laughs> All right. And here we are with song number four out of a possible seven between Cryolian and Kira's Cryolian on match point here, looking to seal the deal with their pick. We did see in the warmups that Kira's is not exactly a slouch on long notes himself, so a solid run could amount to a potential comeback. We're going to have to see how this runs out. Yeah, Kira is definitely dropping a fair amount of accuracy here and uh, the heavy density and even dropping in the land here, dropping combo, that's not looking good. Oh man, that combo break was filthy all the way down to 98.4%. That combo break was under no circumstance clean here and Cryolian holding the full combo with really good accuracy sitting just outside of the 99.8 threshold. And if Kiraz wants to have any shot at coming back here, he's going to need Cryolian not only to miss, but to miss very badly. It'd have to be something along the lines of like a misread on top of an overhold and all sorts of disastrous patterns here. Maybe even a power cut. Oh man, that, that'd be quite extreme. <laughs> We're getting into the buildup of the last third here. A little bit easier on the pattern coordination side. So Kiraz might have the opportunity to get some score back. But Cryolian is holding super strong. Look at the ratio. Basically all maxes on this section here. My god. 99.8 on Butterfly Twist is really good. <laughs> After the initial drop, Kiraz holding combo pretty solidly here, but the accuracy game is just not good enough to catch up to how well Cryolian is playing this. Yeah, we can really see Cryolian's specialty here shine through uh, this butterfly twist play, which is absolutely pristine. Oh, 993. Four two hundreds and almost ten to one ratio. That is a stellar play by Cryolian there. Clean, clean. We like those clean plays. Absolutely. And with that result, that's going to conclude this match. Cryolian beating Kiraz in this group stages match four to nothing.
fantastic showing by Cryoli in here. Kiraz not entirely done with the action either, as we see by the referee. Kiraz is going to be playing another match. Not entirely sure if that one's going to be streamed or not, but Kiraz still going to have to just uh, pull pull up on the bootstraps and continue to try to find his footing and see if he can actually get some points in other matches here. Yeah, hopefully their keyboard um, keyboard or hand issues are not uh, tying them too uh, too badly here. And uh, as Cryolian is uh, going away, trying to catch their dinner back, um, we're gonna go to the next match in X minutes.